Okay, y'all. Just drop whatever you're doing and turn up your radio, cause it's time for body love. Here's what happened last time. I need a favor, and I'm afraid it's kind of a big one. I gotta get out of here. Maya, <laughs> Maya, please stay at least until. No, I gotta, I gotta go somewhere. Oh Lord, and I can't even run after. I want to come back and help you to be the husband you deserve and the father our kids need. I can really do it this time. I know I can, but I can't do it without your help. I'm not ready, Sonny. It's too soon. No, look, the time is perfect. You're going through a tough time and need some help. I'm going through a tough time and I need you. So please, just say you'll give me a chance to show you how we can make it all work. Give you a chance? Sonny, I need somebody to give me a chance. A chance to get my head together. A break in all this craziness. Vanessa, I understand all of that. Do you? My world is falling apart around me. I mean, look at this so-called beauty salon. It's a mess like always. And now I found the only help I have. I've got Maya mad at me and Fidelia running around spreading rumors about me. I can't take it anymore. I need a cigarette thought you quit for good years ago. Yeah, well, every now and then, I just got to have one. And I used to have a pack somewhere. Now, so you did good giving up smoking. One of the best things you ever did. Don't set yourself up for sliding back into that. Don't lecture me, Sonny. Listen to me. Trust me on this. When you've quit something bad, you gotta s- stick with it. Me having the occasional cigarette is nothing like you taking a drink. That's what I used to think, too. But they've been teaching me better at the AA meetings. If you want to change your health, you have to change your behavior. I know that, Sonny. Yeah, but you're not doing it. See, this is what I'm talking about, you and me. We can help each other for a change. We'll help each other from keep from sliding back into the same old habits. Sonny, I've been handling things by myself for 20 years. I can keep doing it for another 20 years. Where did I put those cigarettes? Yeah, you have taken care of things, a lot of things, for years and years. But things are different now. You just say it for yourself. You have all these problems stacking up and you need help to deal with all of it. Well, let me be the one to help you. Here they are. Hallelujah. Don't open that pack, Nessa. I'm begging you. You're just setting yourself up. You really want to help me? Do you really want to help me? Yes. Then find me a match or a lighter or something and light this cigarette. Yes, hello, this is Fred Higgins in the recovery suite. Uh, No, I'm fine, but is my wife at the nurse's station by any chance? Good, thank you. Hey, honey, Maya was just in here very upset, had a full-blown panic attack and ran out. Well, I I was hoping she'd gone past the nurse's station. Uh, Well, then I I need to call her mother and let her know. Patricia, I know Vanessa's got a lot of stress on her, but she'll want to know her daughter's run off crying and feeling like the whole world's come to an end. Hey, hey, that'd be great. Would you do that? Look, I didn't realize it was so near the end of your shift. Okay, then. I'll, I'll keep making phone calls, and I'll tell folks you're going out looking for Maya later. Great. Thank you, honey. Lord, I come to you tonight with concern for that sweet girl, Maya Baxter. You know why she's upset, and, and you know she's got every right to be hurting. Watch after her right now, Lord. Don't let her do anything now that's going to make her problems worse. Well, the reason I called you, Ray, I was hoping that since you were Miles' lawyer, you could help me with a, well, with a mystery that's come up. No. No, his will had all been worked out just perfectly like he told me it would be. So even with you out of town, your office was able to handle it all. But this is about body love. You know, Miles did all our bookkeeping from the very first day I went to work for Mabel Love. Well... Now, 
my sister's been looking over the books and noticed extra money coming in. She says it's $200 every month for years and years. No, we have no idea. That's why I was hoping you... You do? Great. Then by all means, just... Why not? Oh, I understand that, but Ray, the man is dead, and I'm his wife. What? But Ray, I mean, are you sure? I just don't think Miles would ever make any kind of deal that included specific instruction to keep me in the dark about it. I just... No, I know. Ray, I know you're just doing your job. I'm sorry if that sounded like... Well, yes, I am upset. Uh, but I didn't mean to take it out on you, no. I, I appreciate you telling me what you could tell me. Okay, you too. Good Lord. Imagine him having a secret arrangement to put extra money into the salon. This just doesn't seem like Miles. At least... Not the miles I knew. I mean, I wonder what else he didn't tell me. Hello? Well, Reverend Higgins, it's like a miracle you should call right now. You're just the man I want to talk to. Stay tuned for more Body Love right after this. And now, Back to body love. Oh! Every time I get behind the wheel of a car, my phone rings, and it's always in my purse. Hang on. Hello? Fidelia, it's, it's Maya. You've got to help me. I tried to think of who I could call, and I'm... I, Maya, I, just calm down. Calm down and talk to me. Fidelia, it's true. Everything we were suspecting about Mom and Miles is all true. Wait a minute. Are you saying that... I've got proof, written proof, of a letter Mama wrote when I was a baby. I guess she was going to show it to me someday, or maybe she was just going to hold whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Until... Slow down. Look, where are you? I'm, I'm at the payphone on the corner outside the hospital by the emergency room. But okay, need... you just stay there. Okay. I'm on my way to pick okay. you up. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, great. That's great. Hey, no sweat. No extra charge. We'll just ride around and talk it all out. See, I knew Vanessa was nothing but a liar. I mean, maybe I shouldn't say stuff like that about your mother. Don't apologize. She is a liar. Well, I'll be there in just a minute, and then you and I can go straight over to your house or or body lover or wherever she is, and you can just look her straight in the eye and ask her what else she's been lying to you about. Wait a minute. I just realized you're driving around and you don't have a car. My sister's letting me use her husband's car. You know the one. Your father's car. Look, Sonny, give me a light or I'll walk up to the gas station and get one for myself. Not gonna help you ruin your lungs and make your blood pressure problems worse. Then get out of my way. No, look, look, give them here. I'm gonna put them where they belong, in the garbage. See? Not so hard when you have a little help. Doesn't make the craving go away. I know that. But when you keep on doing what you know is good for you, it does it does get a little easier every time you're tempted. Maybe I'm just not as strong as you are, Sonny. What did you say? I said, maybe I'm not as strong as you. Never thought I'd hear that. <laughs> not from you. Not about me. <laughs> It's the truth. I mean, you ran off and got drunk after Miles died and you thought it was your fault. And I'll be honest, if alcohol had been my thing, I guess I would have gotten drunk right with you. But you got straightened out. And you've stayed sober ever since. Yeah, with help from our son, yeah. Yeah, and that's just... It's great you could do that. I'm just... I don't think... I'm ready to make all the changes I need to make, the way you did. I get you, yeah. So, here we are. Now you're the one who's got it all together, and I'm the one who's fallen apart. Which is why I want us to get back together and keep building each other up. I know, 
But I've had 20 years of heartbreak, Sonny. Taking you back and then you getting drunk and then taking you back and then you getting drunk again. I know. Maybe if you, you could... Look, Mama said she wanted you to live with her and Papa for a while. If you could do that... I can't live with them, Nessa. They hated me ever since we got married. Your daddy... I know. I know it won't be easy. But how badly do you want this? I mean, if you're staying with my folks for a month, it's the cost of getting me back. Is that... Is that too high a price to pay? No. When you put it like that, no. Okay. Well... Then maybe we've got a a plan. It's a, it's a start anyway. Yeah. So let me call Mama and we'll see what she says about all of this. I better go outside and make sure Saul's okay. We left him standing out there all this time. With his ear pressed up against the door. Yeah. Nessa, you do understand, I mean, why I want to do all this. I think so. It's just... I'm trying to show you I love you. And I, I'm sure you mean that. And it helps me to know how you feel. All right. (laughs) I got you. Me and Saul, we'll be right out here. I do love you, Sonny. God help me. But I do love you. What you think I'd know anything about the beauty salon? Vanessa and Fidelia have been going over the books. They've had a hard time figuring them out since Miles died. Let me guess, there's money missing. No, actually, that's the weird thing. They found we have too much money. There are extra deposits every month, and this has been going on for years. I see. And our lawyer wouldn't tell me the details, but I did manage to get him to admit that Miles was behind this. But apparently Miles set this up so it would be a secret even from me. And you're wondering what reason a good man like Miles would have for keeping a secret from his wife? Well, yes. You and Miles were so close. I felt sure that if he'd confided in anyone else, it would have to have been you. And if he asked you to keep a secret as long as he lived... Then it would be okay for me to divulge his secret now. Well, those were in fact his conditions... So I'd say now I can finally tell you the whole story. So tell me what you're going to say when we get to body law. Fidelia, I'm, I'm af- almost afraid of what I'm going to say to Mama. I feel like if I start telling her how I feel... Hey, then- you just go with those feelings. Let it all out. The woman's been lying to her daughter for almost 20 years, taking hush money from her lover all that time and looking down her stuck-up nose at everybody else. Lord. Okay, here we go. Maya, baby, I'm glad you're here. Mama Mabel's coming here with TJ, and we'll have the whole family together for a change. Did you see Saul and your father out there when you came in? Mama, my father's not out there. My father is dead. Now you better be here again next time to hear what's going to happen on Body Love. Man, Dr. Ellis, sounds like my mom is in danger of taking up smoking again. She's quit several times, but, you know, she always starts up again whenever she gets under too much stress. I'm afraid that's typical with an unhealthy behavior like cigarette smoking, Saul. It takes many people several tries before they can change their behavior. But why is cigarette smoking so hard to quit? I mean, it's just a bad habit, right? It's a bad habit, but it's one that involves nicotine. And nicotine is an addictive substance. That means that once your body starts absorbing it, it also starts craving it. So having a little bit only makes you want more. But don't give up on your mother, because even an addiction can be broken. 
The key is to make sure she realizes that one little slip doesn't mean she's sliding all the way back into a full-fledged addiction. Okay, okay, but how do I do that? Well, lots of times a slip leads to a relapse because the smoker loses confidence. But they feel too weak to overcome the addiction when, in fact, they had every chance of beating the addiction. So keep your mom's confidence up. Remind her how great she's been doing and let her know you believe in her ability to keep on living smoke-free. This was Body Love, Episode 36, written by the Body Love Writers Group, recorded at Boutwell Studios' Jeff McKee Engineer, and directed by Will York. Featured in the cast were Audrey Quinn, Luane Childry, Vanessa Anderson, Michael Reed, Cheryl Hall, and Shalithia Williams, with Dr. Chris Ellis bringing today's health message. Body Love is a project of the University of Alabama at Birmingham School of Public Health in conjunction with the UAB Department of Theater. Dr. Chris Ellis is medical consultant. Lee Shackelford and Yoko Kawamura are producers. Dr. Connie Kohler is the executive producer. Support for the Body Love Radio Drama Project is provided by a matching grant from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, Princeton, New Jersey, along with the Joseph S. Bruno Charitable Foundation, the Community Foundation of Greater Birmingham, and the Carefree Fund of the Community Foundation of Greater Atlanta. Additional support for this episode was provided by the Alabama State Council on the Arts. Find out more about Body Love on our website, www.bodylove.org.